Corridor with traffic. Zenos 1543, taxiing for holding point 32, Corridor. Double check, there's nobody on uh, final. No, all good. Smoke's telling me over there that uh, we're definitely selected the right runway for takeoff. Go ahead, traffic. Zenith 1543, rolling 14 for a departure from the circuit to the north for Lockhart, climbing to three and a half thousand, Corowa. And off slightly, kick forward, keep the feet active. And we're in the air. 53 knots. Let's keep that nose down a little bit and pick up a bit more speed. Over 60 knots, 65. Start my turn now. Thousand feet. Take that throttle off a little bit and just get us into a nice cruise climb. Good day, viewers. Laurie here from Madman's Gully Aviator. We're just out on a nice afternoon flight to, from Corowa to Lockhart in New South Wales, in Australia. And uh, what we're up to is we're just going for an overnight camp. Uh, this is a bit of a trial run. Uh, I'm going to, up to uh, Lockhart. It's my favourite little country grass strip. And uh, we're going to camp just nearby the uh, aerodrome up there and uh, should have a lot of fun. The temperature today is 25 degrees Celsius, that is. And uh, yeah, beautiful conditions. Uh, good, hardly a cloud in the sky. We're currently cruising at about uh, 85 to 90 knots, so just coming up towards 90 knots now we've leveled out. And uh, our estimated time of arrival is 3.6, so we've got about 25 minutes to go. We're flying today in my Sonix Xenos, uh, which is a kit aircraft produced in the uh, United States. And uh, this particular example was assembled in a place called Tamora, which isn't too far from here. Uh, very well constructed. Uh, uh, the team that put it together did a really good job. Thanks, Paul, for uh, selling it to me.
I'm adjusting the course slowly. I don't want to right, uh, fly right through that uh, smoke plume and have uh, to deal with uh, all the little embers. We're just coming into the time where a lot of the farmers are starting to burn off their paddocks, burn the stubble, after having uh, crops of uh, canola or other grains earlier in the year. Take this opportunity just to double check the windsock and actually just make sure there's no wildlife on the runway. Yeah, kangaroos, we have people and even people graze sheep on this runway, so I have to be a bit a little bit, a little bit careful there. Windsock's all good. Being uh, pretty much vertical. So we shouldn't have any issues with wind coming in. A little bit of uh, water just past the end of the airstrip. So we might just land a little bit way down the airstrip just to be uh, sure we're not going to hit any wet ground, muddy ground. Let's turn out, start our base turn. All right, back her off. We'll proceed to final. One notch of spoilers. At 74 knots. Audio, let's get her on the ground. Yes, a bit bumpy. Uh, not a bad landing in the end. And welcome to Lockhart Aerodrome. Go have a look, see if I can find some uh, tie down points for the aircraft.
there we go. Right, now that we've arrived, the next step of the process is to have a look around here and see if we can actually find somewhere to uh, uh, anchor the aircraft. Uh, sometimes they have portable concrete blocks, so let's go have a look for those. Um, I've had a good look around the place here. There's only one of those concrete anchor blocks, so I guess what I'm going to have to do is improvise. I've got found myself a 20 litre drum. I know with a trough over here with water and probably full of mosquito larvae. And so uh, we'll go fill this up and that'll do for the other wing. So you can see here where I've got the uh, two uh, containers set up, one with concrete in it, the other one's now full of water. I'm gonna drag the aircraft back around and secure each of the wings to that. It's gonna be a calm night. Um, but you just never know, you might get a little whirly wind come through. I just want something that's gonna help hold those uh, wings down if we get a gust come through. So we've got it secured now. You can see we've got a lock on the latch. And if we come around and have a look. We can see both wings nicely secured. The wind, if we get any tonight, should be coming from the northeast or east of northeast. So we, uh, yeah, we should be uh, set up just nice. You want that nose into the wind if uh, we do get any, any wind during the night. So now we've got the plane secured. It's now time for me to go get my tent set up, get something uh, on the uh, jet boil to eat for tea tonight and uh, settle in. Love just uh, listening to the sound of the birds at this time of the evening. We've got some really wonderful uh, songbirds here in Australia. And as that sun sets, I'm sure the, even more birds will come out. What I've decided to do, I've come, I'm still next to the aerodrome. The landing strip's just over here. Um, I've come down a little side road, uh, but the path ahead of us is uh, looking a bit overgrown. I think we're going to set up camp right here and this should be a good spot. I've been here in um, in springtime and uh, with all the livestock and the wild animals, the kangaroos and the like that feed in this area, this is almost like a, a mown green. But this time of the year after a nice wet summer, uh, grass is obviously grown quite a bit. I better get set up.
just a beautiful evening. Magic time of the day. Oof. Another one down. Audio. A touch of uh, homemade yogurt. My wife made this yogurt just recently. We mixed a little bit of um, garlic, minced garlic with it. Bit of salad. Tomato. Lumi. And finally, a little bit of sriracha sauce. Very good. Cheers. Mmm. Oh. That garlic yogurt sauce. Just magic. Well, the sun's set. I'm enjoying this nice beer. I'm not enjoying the mozzies. Um, it's a beautiful evening, probably about 18 degrees. Very comfortable. I think what I'll do is I'll polish this off, and then I think I'll head off to bed, try and get some respite from these mozzies. Thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you in the morning, ready for another beautiful day of flying.
Jeez. Get out, you mongrels. <laughs> They're nuts. They really are nuts. Look at them. Good morning. Had a good sleep last night. It's about 6.30 in the morning right now. The tent held up well. It's quite comfortable. I didn't set up the uh, peg out the fly, so of course the fly has got a bit of moisture on the inside, but didn't matter too much. The main thing was I was protected from those mosquitoes, which already are making an appearance this morning. So uh, a bit of a nasty spot for mosquitoes this time of the year. Anyhow, let's go for a bit of a wander and we'll have a look around this little bit of forest here. This is uh, what we call uh, white cypress pine forest. Uh, its uh, scientific name is Calitris glaucophylla. And these trees, although they don't look uh, terribly large, are likely to be many hundreds of years old. In fact, uh, there's been some dating of the trees uh, by counting the rings in the er area where I live, which is a, a quite a distance from here, but it's still the same type of tree. And uh, yeah, we've got specimens in our area, which is 700 years old. Very pretty tree. walked around and I'm now at the hangars at the aerodrome and as you can see this hangar is used by the Wagga Wagga Gliding Club. Now it's interesting because in the time that I've been here uh, flying here over the last few years uh, I've never seen another soul here. I don't know whether it's just uh, COVID or whether it's that um, it's the natural ebb and flow of people being interested in aviation and not, you know, interested in aviation. But at any rate, um, I still love this little aerodrome. It's just such a pretty little place to come to. Uh, really enjoy flying in here. Generally, it's really well maintained. Grass is a little bit long uh, today, um, but uh, I still love coming in here. And we've just got perfect conditions today. If you look around, there's just not a cloud in the sky. Well, here we are at the club rooms. Hasn't had a lot of use for a while, well at least not by people. Uh, what we can see here is where sheep have actually been uh, using the veranda as a bit of a shelter. If we look inside, it's fairly dusty and unused. Let's have a look in there, hopefully you can see through that glass. Almost looks like an old shearer's quarters. Certainly must have been a uh, Quite a busy club with a lot of members back in the day, a lot of active members. That seems to have uh, gone by the wayside now. Not nearly as many people out here. Hopefully, like I say, it's just part of the natural ebb and flow of things. So uh, we'll hopefully we'll see this club become active again at some stage. Well, all packed. That took a bit of effort. Seemed worse because of all the mozzies. But anyway, we got there. As you can see, the campsite's been returned to its natural state. I've packed all the rubbish. I'll be taking all that out. And uh, we'll go load it up in the aircraft.
So I've loaded the gear and the aircraft has been dailied so um, it's ready to fly. I've uh, taken the um, anchor points and put them back where I found them so that's all right to, uh, and ready to go. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just bring you down here and have a bit of a look at the airstrip so you can get, get an idea of the condition. Normally this is a little bit long. Normally uh, Lockhart Council has this uh, uh, strip uh, really tidy, even lower than this. Um, mind you, it won't present any problems. But yes, if we look, I'll walk out a little bit further and I'll point you down the runway. All right, just down here. This is more or less the center of the runway. And yeah, you can see the grass a little bit long. A little bit of an issue for me, but <coughs> excuse me, because I've got a fairly small tail wheel. But um, yeah, I, if I pick my line right, it won't be a problem. The wind is blowing straight down 06, this runway, more or less. So uh, yeah, so I, we, we should have uh, quite an easy takeoff here. Okay, let's get into it. All right, we've uh, taxied to the end of the runway. We'll do a run up. Check the engine. Perfect. Just the right amount of drop on both. Got a lap back. Go through our checklist. All right, hatch is secure, harness is uh, secure. Temps and pressures, where pressures are uh, coming up, uh, sorry, our temps coming up and our pressure's good. Uh, altimeters are set, controls clear and unimpeded. Spoilers are retracted. Check the trim. Trim's right. Fuel taps on, quantity sufficient. We've got 38 litres. Turn our run up, we're right to take off. Make sure there's no livestock that wandered out on the airstrip since we taxied down. Looks like we're all good. Look our traffic, Zenos 1543, rolling 06 for an overhead departure to the south to Korowa, climbing to two and a half thousand feet, Lockhart. Right, we've got airspeed and we've got air. Good thing is we've got plenty of nice big paddocks around here to land in if we suddenly had an engine out. Well, thank you for coming along on the journey. I hope you enjoyed it. Something a little bit different. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, feel free to comment below, uh, like and subscribe, and hopefully we'll catch you on the next little adventure. Thanks for joining me.